Hi, this is Sam Hagerman with Hammer in Hand. Uh, I'm here to talk about uh, the Glasswood Project, uh, which is um, a certified passive house commercial retrofit, the first one in the United States. Uh, we've spoken a little bit about the passive house space upstairs, which would be an office space. Today I want to talk about uh, the restaurant space, which is downstairs. It's a uh, mostly Mexican restaurant named Chico. And it's got some really, although it's not a passive house, uh, certified space. It's got a lot of the detailing and high performance um, sort of features that we bring to Pat Sval's projects. Uh, because of the uh, tremendous amounts of uh, air that have to be uh, taken up and, and brought through the building by the commercial range hood, uh, we can't really fit that sort of consumption uh, energy-wise or airflow-wise into the Pat Sval's, uh energy model. So uh, we've taken some other measures here that are quite uncommon for restaurants um, and brought them from the passive house space upstairs to the restaurant down below. Uh, Chico will have uh, uh, a commercial HRV, a heat recovery ventilation unit that will do 1300 CFM um, cubic feet per minute and uh, it's controlled uh, purely by a, a carbon dioxide sensor so that as the restaurant fills with people and more fresh air is required, uh, the equipment senses that by sensing a rise in the, in the level of CO2 relative to the amount of oxygen in the, in, in the uh, atmosphere in the restaurant and, and ramps up on a variable speed basis the ventilation. Uh, in addition, the range hood here is uh, rather uncommon, although I think a lot of range hoods commercially are going to go this way um, just because it's such a great idea. Uh, it's a VFD or variable frequency drive, so uh, it too, uh, the range hood over the commercial range and ovens is controlled by not a CO2 sensor like the HRV, but rather a heat sensor, so it senses the heat coming off the equipment and uh, changes the hertz on the motor, that's a variable frequency part. So at full speed, it's up at 60 hertz. Uh, at cooler temperatures, it can go all the way down to 10 and, and, and um, minimize the amount of energy consumed by that range hood and, the, and the, some of the loss we get. Um, uh, energy loss we get through the range hood through the building. Um, so it's sort of always trying to minimize the amount of uh, ventilation necessary to keep the indoor air quality high in the restaurant. Um, and all around this concept is the same type of envelope that we've got uh, in the passive house upstairs. Uh, we've got exterior dense glass, uh, a layer of uh, EPS foam insulation, and then uh, dense packed cellulose uh, structural cavity. Uh, and upstairs that is in additionally added onto with a, a service cavity, which is high density cellulose. That's absent here in the kitchen, so it's not technically as good in terms of R value, but it does have monolithic insulation all the way around. And it has insulated frame high performance fiberglass windows, which is also very uncommon for a restaurant. So um, I think when you come here to have dinner at Chico, you're gonna be able to uh, have a pleasant experience in terms of indoor air quality, the evenness of the temperature, and uh, just the thermal comfort. When you sit near the windows, you won't be cold. When you open the front door to come into the restaurant, there won't be a big blast of air in or out like there is sometimes in restaurants. And you can always be assured that uh, if the restaurant's full, the HRV, the heat recovery ventilation system, is gonna be bringing in uh, conditioned fresh air into the space to keep everybody comfortable. The heating and the cooling needs of the space are done by a couple uh, ductless mini-split Mitsubishi units. Um, so those are extremely high efficient high efficiency electric units that are powering uh, heads inside the restaurant in strategic locations where you can't see them but they'll be providing the relatively small heating and and cooling needs uh, for the space.